Hi first graders, today we're going to be talking about sequence of events. So in some books, the author organizes the details in the story in a certain way in order for it to make more sense to the reader. When details or events are organized in a certain way, we call that sequence of events. It's important when we are talking about sequence of events to remember to use what we call transition words. Transition words are words like first, next, then, and finally. And we use these words to help organize our details or the events in a story. So for example, let's say that I was making a sandwich. Okay, what's the first thing I would do when I'm making a sandwich? I would say first, I get two pieces of bread. Then, I get out the peanut butter and jelly and I spread the peanut butter and jelly on my bread. Next, I put the pieces of bread together and finally, I take a bite of my sandwich. Yum! So what you're going to be doing today after you have read the story called Building a House is you are going to be putting the events in the story in order um, using those types of transition words like first, next, then, and finally. Um, I've already done the first one for you, okay? So the example, the first um, step is first, the builders build the foundation for the house, okay? Notice how I use the word first. In, for event number two, box number two on your worksheet today, you would use the word next or then, and at the very end, so that would be um, event number eight, you would want to use the word finally at the beginning of your sentence. If you have enough room in the box, you can add a picture too if you would like. Um, and that's sequence of events. Good luck today.